Hey everybody, hope you're doing well today. Um, I had a call earlier and uh, it was a call that I get often or a comment I get a lot of times online where people think I'm something other than what I am. So I thought it'd be a good idea if we had a conversation about what I am and what I'm not. I'm not a public adjuster. Never have been one, never will be. I'm not a contractor, I'm not an IE. I'm not an attorney, I'm not a claims examiner, I'm not an inside adjuster, I'm not a desk adjuster. I'm none of that. What I am first and foremost is an estimator, a large loss consultant, yes. But let me give you the background on how I got here and what exactly I am. So I got out of college and it was right at the beginning of the dot-com boom. Okay? And being the serial entrepreneur that I am, I couldn't just leave that be. So I got together with a friend. We uh, launched the first uh, statewide internet access provider in uh, Louisiana. And we're the 11th largest in the, largest in the nation for like 14 months. And then we sold that to some company in New Jersey. And for a little while, we then went out and we attached interesting things to the internet. Uh, we attached the first uh, TV station that uh, went live on the internet. We uh, made a system for uh, people to uh, order something online and it'd be dispatched to a thermal printer on a, on a dock somewhere so that fish could be put in the right, you know, orders could be put together. We, we also man, made a, a management system that ran, uh, that ran the largest, um, I should say the oldest uh, tugboat company in, uh, in, in the world, um, inside of New Orleans. And we, we made it where they, they could, instead of using these really big pads that they had used for 121 years at the time, they were actually able to uh, put the pads away, sit at computers and do things that they've never been able to do really well before. And one of those things is, you know, when you do any kind of logistics where you're sending something out and bring, you know, you're sending a, like a tugboat out and you're bringing it back. Well, you want to have a load for it to bring back as well as a load for it to push out so that you don't have any dead, dead legs. And that helped to coordinate that in a way that it, it just made everything work so much better. And, uh, but the thing was about all of that, whether it be the technology that connects things together or, you know, just the core level communication, email, whatever else that, that happens. What it did do is it taught me things about feedback loop. Because in a lot of business, if something goes wrong, the feedback loop could be days, weeks, months. In technology, if something goes wrong, usually your phone will ring in 30 seconds and everyone will feel it. And so the feedback loop is very, 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 very short. And so you, you end up having to be very careful what you do, push quality with what you do, because the other option is uh, all hell will break loose. But like I said, I want to make my money in that dot com stuff. And it wasn't it wasn't where necessarily my first love was. And so I left that. I thought maybe I wanted to become an attorney. But I didn't know anything about claims attorneys at that point in my life, or I probably might have done it. But I told this attorney I was working with, I said, hey, I don't think I want to be an attorney. He says, that's the smartest thing that's ever been said in this office. And I said, well, he says, so what, what are you going to do, go do? And I said, I don't know. He said, well, tell me this. Tell me something you've done in the last five or six or seven years that just lit you up. And I said, well, I built a house. He said, you built a house? I said, yeah. I said, it was small, but I built a house. So back, in fact, I built it and it had, uh, I forgot to put... Um, like the main drain line, 
uh, the toilet. <laughs> and I literally had to uh, had to cut the slab and, and trench underneath it to, to, to fix that. I never told a soul about it. But um, but uh, anyway, it, it was it was I liked it. I wanted to see if I could do it. I, I wasn't necessarily loving doing all the trades, but I I wanted to understand that. And it, it was just interesting to me. So he said, start there. And I did that. So what I did was I, I went out and I started. Um, I started managing construction, little construction, big construction, bigger construction, and I enjoyed doing that. And I was just kind of like a hired hit hit man. I just went in and did that. And out of the blue, one day I get this call from this mitigation company and this mitigation company says to me, hey, we want to start this uh, this recon arm for all these large losses we did. I didn't even know what a large loss was, you know. And I said, "Oh, okay. Let's let's give it a go." So I went went and I I, I got together with them. I learned mitigation, and I, I really had never known the whole concept of clean and dry. And I, it was great that I learned that and how I learned it and how it was so. And I got to see it on on, on really really diverse groups of, of buildings. So I started. Uh, putting together the estimates for the reconstruction and working those out. But I got to meet with these large loss adjusters from the carriers. And I mean, we got along like peas and carrots. Like I just got them. I understood kind of, I could get in their head and I could figure out what it is they needed to do to, to get the claim handled the way it should ha be handled and just get everything paid and move, moved along. And I just, I just got it. And it, it didn't seem adversarial to me. Nobody had taught me that this was an adversarial relationship. And so I developed all these really good relationships, not knowing what I was doing and uh, ended up building about a $70 million uh, reconstruction arm. Did that for a few years. And uh, I started getting calls from other folks that wanted me to do the same thing by going out to the large loss, you know, maybe meet with the, uh, with the adjuster and going out there for the contractor, the PA or whatever, and just, just getting that, you know, basically doing the same thing over and over, right? Assessing it, writing an estimate, assessing it, writing an estimate. And uh, I also, during this this time, I, I learned what a PA was. I never, I, I didn't know what a PA was. And um, I got the, the, the privilege of um, actually being uh, listed as the uh, general manager for a couple of these groups. And it was cool because it helped me to like learn the inside of how they interact with the carrier. And that was a part I didn't know yet, but it gave me that, that understanding. But as we went forward, instead of me going out to all these things, I started getting more work than I could do. So I started getting some smaller work, but I started getting, getting it where people were sending me the details and I was writing up the estimates and sending them back to me. And I never thought that that was possible, but it, it, it worked really well. So we kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it. And I got busy enough in between the large loss work I was doing and this work to hire somebody and kind of teach them my method for how we write estimates. And then we hired another and another and another and another and another and another. And before long, we organized uh, Right Loss Claim Right Inc. And, and it grown to such high numbers all these years later that, uh, you know, we produce like $20 billion a year worth of, worth of estimates. And, and on, on top of that, um, we, we also have like, we, have, we developed a field team. So people would go out and assess. Um, they were large loss and small loss and a logistics group and a legal group and, 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 you know, accounting and all that other stuff, marketing, production, whatever, all of it. And it ended up being not so camp anymore, but like actually the largest estimation firm in North America. And, and it still sounds weird when I say it out loud, but, but, but that's, that's, that's what we did. And, you know, it's notable that what we did was, We, we built it not with um, with out of work um, uh, insurance adjusters. Now I'm not beating on you guys who are out of work insurance adjusters. 
but when you when when we hired insurance adjusters, they were just um, number one. They had been worked so long behind a claims manager that 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 sometimes it meant that some of their behavior wasn't what we needed when we were writing an estimate. But two, the moment the winds blew and they could get their daily rates so good, they they would disappear. And so we decided that was just not a good way to do it. So what we did was we very simply um, found the right people, the people that had the stuff that mom gave them, you know, work ethic, um, good, good manners, um, honesty. Um, and, and, and we, we, we put them to, you know, and we, and we, we found those people and we trained them and we bring them up and, we developed a training program that was so freaking good that we can take somebody green and bring them up through the ranks so quickly that it would amaze most uh, mo mo most of the people that do anything in our industry. And it, it's not that it's not that our um, it's not that our people are like smarter when it comes to estimates. It's just they probably do more of it. You know, I mean, we load them up like UPS trucks, and they they don't even know that they're busy. And we found that that works best because if you can keep somebody working at a cadence, because it's that it's a natural cadence, it just works really well. But this idea of working with velocity came to be more and more and more and more and more of an issue. And being have, have being able to do quick turnaround times was like the coolest thing ever. And we found before long that we were servicing attorneys public adjusters, contractors, IAs, PAs, you know, mitigation companies, whatever. If it was real property, if it was structure, we, we estimated it. And all this time later, we end up with, you know, 4,000 different companies that we support every day. Now, during this whole time, as Right Loss Plan Right Inc. is like growing up, okay? We have these very good people working there that are more and more and more taking, taking on its day-to-day. -day. And as they do that, I'm doing more and more appraisal and umpire work and expert work. And so today, most of what I do is appraisal work, umpire work, and expert work while the company estimation group writes estimates day and night. Now, the reason why I can handle the huge volume of umpire work and appraisal work and even expert work, the reason why I can do that is frankly because I have this machine that's here, this estimation machine, where if I need to compress time and get something done so it moves faster, it works better. For example, when I do umpire work, um, I always turn in my, my, my position on that in 48 hours, at least for the panel to, uh, to, to discuss. And usually within two days after that, it's, it's, it's awarded and done. I just like people to be able to comment. I don't just like dropping, dropping, a, uh, dropping an award, but, but and, and I mean, and I, I usually we usually always present our uh, my position to my opposing appraiser a lot faster than they present a position to to me, just because most of the adjusters that I deal with are one man or two man bands. And and that's OK. I'm not, I'm not beating up anybody for that, but I just don't do it that way. OK. And so. So what am I? Well. I'm somebody who supports the entire industry. We have an estimation team that literally, literally supports the entire industry. And as much as that was me founding it, the day-to-day -day of that, the magic of it, is about these great, this great, most cohesive team I've ever seen in my life. I'm humbled by it. It's simply amazing the way they can possess this concept that they quietly protect the insured. You know, most people will never know that they exist. But the work that they do is instrumental in making sure the insured is protected and, 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 and 
and ultimately, uh, you know, we have a happy claim, which is the closed claim, even though we don't close the claim. And we don't litigate, and we don't adjust. But what we do there is we write estimates. And what I do is I handle appraisal and umpire work and expert duty. And that keeps me very busy. And it also keeps me just like, it, it gives me that peace that I started in the industry with, where I was out there with the large loss adjusters and I just kind of got them. And I like those relationships. And what, what appraisal and umpire work does for me so much as it puts me in that same place with those very good people that I understand so well. And I, I can, I can, we can make some magic and we can bring the finality to some of these things that get clogged up in the process. I also like when we work for the attorneys and we deal with, you know, all kind of difficulties on, on the, on these, these claims and how in deposition trial or whatever, just simply telling the truth of the matter is always kind of easy because that's the only place I like to play because it's about the damage. It's not about anybody. And it's about just finding things that are reasonable and, and, and proper. I mean, it's, it's, it's a pretty, pretty simple process in anywhere in the, anywhere in the game, you apply velocity with quality, with the idea that you're supporting the insured. And every time we do that in every sector of our business, it just wins. So once again, I'm not a PA, I'm not an IA, I'm not an attorney, I'm not a contractor. What I am is an estimator, large loss consultant, appraiser, umpire, and expert witness. So if somebody ever says to me, are you this, or you that, I'll have this video and I'll be able to send them one. I have got one hell of a week coming up, and I'm going to take you on some of some of the rides with me, because I think uh, some of the stuff I'm doing, including uh, an $11 million loss um, and some umpire work that I'm doing, I, I think both of them may provide some kind of nice kind of intelligence, if you will, as to or context about about you know some aspects of the claim world that maybe you don't see every day, or if you do see them, you may not see them handled in exactly the same way. But um, guys, Mother Nature is, is, is our best customer and she is at work with a bunch of snow this, um, this weekend and uh, a bunch of cold. And uh, I think she's just reminding us that she is definitely, definitely in charge. Have a great day. Knock them dead wherever you are. Peace.